Today we have an email from Terrence of Brookville, Ohio. Hello Pablo, I'm kind of a computer noob, but want to learn more. I keep hearing about virtualization. Can you do a show explaining what virtualization is and talk about different companies who offer virtualization? Thanks, Terrence. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think we can do that. Do you like Ubuntu? Do you like to hack? Do you need various tools to troubleshoot PCs? Do you hate girly purple? Then you need to try Bauer Puntu Linux. It's a live DVD. You can install it. Run it on a USB. <laughs> we don't give a crap. Just download. Visit puntu.bauerpower.net and get ready to hack some shit up. Welcome to Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka twitter.com slash Pablo. Today, I'll give you a quick rundown of all things virtual. Let's start with the general idea of what virtualization is and why it's so badass. According to Wikipedia, hardware virtualization is the virtualization of computers or operating systems. It hides the physical characteristics of a computer platform from users, instead showing another abstract computing platform. The software that controls the virtualization used to be called a control program at its origins, but nowadays the term hypervisor or virtual machine monitor are preferred. Let's look at it like this. In the old days, if you wanted to run 10 servers, you had to actually run them on 10 physical server class computers. Those can run anywhere from $3,000 to $6,000 each, or even more. 10 servers times 6,000 equals $60,000. Boom! With virtualization, you can buy one physical server and beef it up with memory and storage. And run those same 10 virtual servers on the same physical server hardware. Double boom. Now that you have a basic idea of what virtualization is, let's talk about some of the various virtualization software companies and products. Let's start with desktop products. When I first got started in IT back at Help Desk, we all used to have two or three computers sitting under our desk. One was our corporate workstation and the rest were used as test computers. Now companies find that it's cheaper to buy a few extra sticks of RAM for the corporate workstation and run some type of virtualization product on it for use as the test machines. Why not, right? It's cheaper and when the virtual machines aren't in use, the employee has a kick-ass workstation to boost productivity. For Windows desktops, you can use VMware Workstation, Microsoft Virtual PC, or my favorite, VirtualBox, which is now owned by Oracle. Here's a tip. Microsoft Virtual PC and VirtualBox are both free. For Linux, you have VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, OpenVZ, and KVM. For Mac, you have VMware Fusion, Parallels, and VirtualBox, just to name a few. When I first mentioned what virtualization was, I mentioned servers. That's because that's where the big market is, and that's where the biggest area for cost savings is. The savings is not only seen in the amount of hardware you don't have to buy, but also in the amount of money it takes to power those servers. The average server consumes almost 4,000 kilowatt hours of energy. Or about $400 at the USA commercial pricing average. Now multiply that by each server you're running, and you're starting to look at the largest energy bill of your life. Imagine running the same amount of servers using virtualization on only one physical server. Now you're only paying $400 for the one server while still getting the same functionality of 10. And just think, you're also saving the environment at the same time. So what options are there for servers? I'll give you three of them. VMware, ESX, and ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, and Zen Hypervisor. I've never used Zen, so I can't really speak to its functionality. But it's open source though, so it's got to be pretty cool. Microsoft's Hyper-V is pretty cool because it's free with your enterprise agreement. It sucks though because it has to run on top of Windows, which in itself can be a resource hawk. Also in the current version, there's a one-to-one -one ratio between the number of cores your processor has and the amount of machines you want to run. That leaves the current market leader, VMware. VMware makes a really cool free version called ESXi, which installs directly on the server and is a self-contained operating system. It holds most of the functionalities of the full-blown version and is perfect for small to medium-sized businesses. For larger companies, VMware's fully featured ESX is the way to go. With shared SAN storage on the back end, you can have redundant failover clusters with vMotion and high availability. vMotion? What is that? 
vMotion is when VMware moves a virtual server from one physical server to another one, all while the virtual server is running, and the users experience zero downtime. Am I losing you? No? Good. So let's recap. Virtualization allows us to run many virtual servers on one physical server. Doing this saves us money, and money makes the world go round. You can run virtualization products like Oracle's VirtualBox on your desktop, or in a server environment, you can run something like VMware's ESX. If you have any questions or comments, perhaps you have a favorite virtualization product that I failed to mention, hit us up in the comments or shoot me an email, info at techchop.com. This concludes this episode. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. The show is still pretty new, so I welcome your feedback and your suggestions. Catch us here next time for your monthly dose of Tech Chop. Thank <laughs> you.